Hello, Chef Giovanni here. Welcome to another video. So I want to show you how to sharpen titanium knives today. There's a little confusion out there. I want to set it straight. So I am a certified chef and a chef instructor and uh, I've been using these knives for decades. A long, long time. So uh, friends of mine in Japan, Kasumi, they make these knives. I love them. I've been using this one for over 10 years. You can see it's got some, uh, some minimal wear. A little bit of uh, use and abuse. Uh, different people have picked it up and tried it out and it's been uh, through the test. So this knife's uh, seen a lot of food, trust me. Here's a brand new one in the package. I want to show you this too. The brand new one uh, is really beautiful. Let's take it out. Let's compare these two knives. Let's see if maybe mine's gotten a little bit smaller over the last 10 years. Well, they look about the same. I really like the ergonomical handle, the size, the shape, the balance, the feel. It's a cool knife. So there's only a couple ways I would sharpen a titanium knife. Uh, you can see this one's still in pretty good shape, the brand new one especially. Uh, there's only a few things I'm going to do to sharpen these. So first of all, let me grab a piece of paper and we'll do a test here. This is my highly used knife which needs to be sharpened. I'm going to show you that. Cuts paper. This is the brand new one from Japan right out of the box cuts the paper very easily. So let's get this knife as sharp as this knife. Uh, there's a couple things first of all I want to go over. Uh, when the knife's brand new you don't want to scratch it up. Even being used you don't want to scratch it up. So they make this little wheel sharpener. Pretty cool. You score it at the sponsor right there. Uh, the ceramic wheel would be considered finer. This is a diamond, a little coarser. You can pull about any knife through here. Uh, any steel knife would be good and uh, I would use the diamond first and the ceramic second. You fill this with water and these little wheels spin. You pull them right through like this, okay, when it's full of water. This is brand new. I'm not going to use it, but what, what I do like is the fact it only hits the very bottom edge of the knife. doesn't scratch or damage the knife. So consider this as one of your options. And moving along, I'm going to put this on the whetstone and show you uh, the, the other option. When the knife is sharp, like this one, I've also come across these awesome leather straps. You just give it a little polish like this, both sides. Okay, again, there's only one place to get this leather strop. Uh, it's manufactured by the sponsor right there. Now, you can see I just sharpened that knife a little bit more. Just barely touching the paper now and it's just feathering right through there. It's very, very sharp. So I would say the leather strop provides a little more sharpness. All right. I'm going to show you how I sharpen this one that's been heavily used. Here we go. I've made a wooden jig to fit over my sink. You can do this. Anybody can do this. I'm using the clip. Get it at your sponsor there. The clip or guide clip fits over the back of the knife, doesn't scratch the blade. Okay, I've used it many, many times, it has not scratched the blade. It's plastic lined stainless steel. The clip gives you the perfect angle on the sharpening stone. All right, you get the stone wet, I'm using just a little bit of water. There's no need to soak the stone, you just want the water to get the stone wet. That's all you're doing here. Not magic. It's just water. Helps the stone sharpen the knife. Okay, so now I'm going to move this water out of the way. I'm going to use the clip and I'm going to get the angle. The perfect angle, right like this. From the heel to the tip. 
following that guide right down. And I'm going to flip it over and repeat. Heel to the tip. Okay, that was easy. I'm not done. I'm going to move this stone out of the way, right down there. And I'm going to switch. By the way, you're wondering what that was. Oh, I forgot to tell you. That's a 3,000 stone made in Japan. Super high quality. I'm moving on to an 8,000. 3,000 and 8,000 is what I like for this application. I put a little spacer so it fits just right in there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's a good fit. And I'm on camera. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of water on this stone as well. Move the water around. Again, no magic tricks. The water helps remove the steel and it keeps the stone cool. That's it. The clip. Perfect angle. Here we go. Heel to the tip. My big arms in the way here. And again, heel to the tip. All right, I've done even strokes on both sides. Put the clip back here, wipe the knife off, check it on a piece of paper. Here we go. You think it's sharp? Yeah, it's just about like the new one. Of course, I mentioned the strop. Let's get that strop back here. Here we go. The, the strop is the sweet finish. I'm just going to give it a little polish like this. Yep, all done. Let's check it on the paper. Yep. That's it. It's just as sharp as the, the new one. Okay? This is a super steel knife. These knives are made out of the best possible elements. The steel, the titanium. I love it. Score all your tools at the sponsor right down there. There should be links uh, throughout the video. There's links to buy the knife, links to buy the clip and the stone, and links to buy the leather strop. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Share, subscribe, let's put this knife to the test. That's a half a pair right there. I want to show you just how sharp this knife is. I'm going to cut this pair, tough, tough skin, I'm going to cut this pair into some slices. They're all the same thickness. It's a nice little slice right there, would look good in a fruit salad. Uh, these slices I did earlier here, let's do them into a little julienne. Mm -hmm. Knife's got a really, really nice rocking motion. There we go. Kind of a fine julienne. That's looking good. Now I got a hard product for you here. I got some dried kiwi fruit. I'm going to do the same thing with the kiwi fruit. Okay. What I like about the titanium knife, it goes through about any food. This is tough stuff here and nothing sticks to the blade. Okay, it's still clean. I uh, got a little julienne uh, dried zucchini that's kind of cool looking. I'll tell you what, would look beautiful on a uh, maybe a creme brulee or panna cotta dessert. Really cool looking little kiwi. So uh, it's pretty dry, pretty hard stuff. I'll show that to you and uh, you can see Stuff's dry, but it's packed with vitamin C. I like it. Yeah. All right. Once again, we got this Kasumi Titanium, brand new ones on sale, as well as this cool little sharpener, diamond and ceramic wheel water sharpener. Get the clips. You got to have the clips. Perfect angle every time. You can't go wrong when you got the perfect angle. That's it. Get the uh, wet stones at your sponsor. And uh, don't forget the strop. More exclusive items. You can only get this one place. It's like 20 bucks, I believe. 
So check it out, hit up the sponsor, and don't forget, smash that like button. Get cooking and have a great day. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be good. Comment and tell us how this recipe worked out for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Marinated beef sirloin, beef flavored fettuccine, julienne carrots, grilled tomato, and fresh herbs. Thank you for watching the presentation. Star anise. Oh, it's really, really nice quality. Hard to find.